اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to use ChatGPT with Smart PLS. The objective is to understand how we can use ChatGPT to provide us the interpretation for Smart PLS results. Let's assume this is my model and I run the PLS algorithm to get my measurement model results. Now here is my model. Now let's look at the construct reliability and validity results. Now here are our construct reliability and validity results. Let's copy them. And let's go to ChatGPT. Now let's ask ChatGPT to give us the interpretation of these results. Interpret and report the following table for a research paper. Enter. Now here are the results. Now what I can do is I can ask ChatGPT to give me a paragraph rather than three different subsections. Now here is the paragraph. Now but it is missing the thresholds. So let's ask ChatGPT, can you put in the thresholds as well? Here is the table with the thresholds, but there are no references. Let's see if ChatGPT can provide us with references as well. Now here are the references and the full references here. Now obviously do check these references in the Google Scholar as well. So this is how you can use ChatGPT to interpret the results from Smart PLS. Now let's say if I use another table, let's go to discriminant validity. Copy. Now the problem is I did not mention the table so I will mention the table first here and then copy the prompt. Now press enter. This is the reference which is correct as far as I remember and this is how you can use ChatGPT to interpret your discriminant validity results. Now similarly you can go for Fauner and Locker criterion as well. Just copy the results from Smart PLS and paste them here. Let's use the same prompt. But this is not HTMT, this is Foreigner and Locker. Press enter. So these are the results. You can further summarize it. These are quite detailed. So let's ask ChatGPT, can you summarize the results in a paragraph? Let's see what we get. Here it is. So this is how I used ChatGPT to summarize the measurement model analysis results from Smart PLS. In next session, I'm going to look into how to use ChatGPT to help us present the results from a structural model. Thank you very much.